What's going on everybody? In a previous video, I made a short little iPhone video of a PIR, Passive Infrared Motion Sensor, through a Darlington Pair transistor system to power a relay, a little tiny little 3 volt relay. I had a comment on that video request me to do a step by step and I want to do that for you right now. It's real quick, it's very simple and I want to explain some things about it. It's not an ideal system and I'll explain why. But let me build it. These are TIP 31C transistors and they're probably not ideal for this. But it's very simple. The output pin of the PIR is 3 volts. It's positive 3 volts. That goes to the base of the first transistor. This is the left pin of the TIP 31C. This is the base. The second transistor, the emitter attaches to the base, so that's, and that's the right pin of the first transistor. So you just put the second transistor in line, like so. Now the only thing that's happening right now is that the far right pin of the first transistor is in contact with the far left pin of the second transistor. Both collectors get a positive 12 volt, which is what happens to be my source. So you take a jumper from the collector of the first transistor and put it on the collector of the second transistor. And then that one gets connected to positive 12 volts. If it'll go in there. Like so. So you have output pin to the emitter of the first transistor. The collector of both transistors get a 12 volt source. The emitter of the first transistor is going into the base of the second transistor. And the emitter of the second transistor goes to one side of the coil of your relay. And the other coil of the relay, the other side of the relay, goes to the negative of your source. There is a diode in place to protect the circuits. I'll explain about the diode. So after it's wired up, then you just plug it in, test it. Okay, I don't know if that came through on the camera or not, but it did activate the relay. You'll see if it clicks off. Okay, it's already clicked off. I have it just set for a short amount of time. And then it clicked off again. I'm not sure if that's coming through on the camera, but it is working. Now, let's talk about the diode here. Anytime you use a relay or any electromagnetic solenoid or anything, you need a diode in place. And it's reverse to keep uh, the current when it de-energizes after the relay is switched off. It's wanting to go somewhere. The diode keeps it from going back into your circuits and blowing. It's very simple. If you have a diode, whatever it is, there's a stripe on it. You can just point that back toward the positive source. Opposite the way a diode would normally go. And each leg of your diode, I have it bent in a U shape and it is just split across both sides of the coil. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, that's how that's done. And the, the circuit is not perfect because these transistors require a five volt switch to actually make them turn on and turn off properly. I'm only getting three volts from my little PIR, so it puts the transistors into a linear phase from what I've read and it causes excessive heating of the transistors. Now this is not much voltage. The transistors are good for 100 volts, so they're not even really warm. But if you had a more current going through them and you're only switching them at 3 volts, then it would cause excessive heating and you might need a heat sink. But there's math for that. I don't know what it would be. 
And I'm not an expert on transistors. I just know that this is what happens to be the case with this one. So there's my step by step tutorial. I hope that was clear. Um, you know, let me, give me any comments if you have any. And I'm going to build the same circuit with a dual op amp, um, op, operational amplifier. And I'm going to put that video up next. Happy holidays. Something I didn't film, I just remembered as I shut the camera off. Um, I'm going to actually show you it working. I didn't really demonstrate anything but the clicking, so I'm actually going to show you it working. I have 48, 35, 28 SMD white light diodes, and I'm just going to wire them up to the relay. And since this is a 12 volt little bitty panel, I'm going to wire it directly to the relay that's actually. Um, it's getting the 3 volt switch from the PIR, but I'm going to actually use the source voltage of 12 volts that I have coming in. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I'm, I'm powering the PIR has a like a 7 to 24 volt, whatever. But I'm putting 12 into it, and I'm going to power this with 12. Switched. I'm trying to work around my tripod. I apologize. I'm going to switch this with the relay, and it's all, I guess you could call this an integrated circuit because I'm not going to use any outside source turn this on so let's let's just do this real quick and I have the this little relay has the the actual contacts are in kind of a weird spot and I'll have to turn it to look at them because I've scratched the side of the case to help me remember where they are but anyway um, let's just put I think I think that's one of them and let's give it a positive voltage So we'll place that on the positive side. And then I'll just come out of it right here. And this is what will go into, since we know that positive is coming into the contact, and this is the wire as it continues through the contacts with the relay, I need to go to positive first. Because LEDs are polarity specific. Relay coil is not, by the way. This one, some may be, but this one isn't. So I'm going to lay this here, and I'm going to twist around this wire. And you would want a more permanent insulation, of course, than just twisting around these little jumpers. But this will show you that. And don't let them get together because I can do some weird stuff. I apologize for the low talking, creepy voice. I'm trying not to wake everyone up it's the middle of the night okay so now if you can see this little jumper we have positive coming in through the contact of the relay and i'm going to plug this now into the negative so we have to get back to ground there okay as you can see it's working fine it's an integrated circuit using the pir motion sensor a tiny little three volt relay and I want to mention too that there is so little current going through this transistor system even though that it's a three volt relay and it is the energizing the coil there's not enough energy here to light one single LED it's just working just enough to energize this coil but that's it if I had a five volt source going into this Darlington pair it would put them into full switch mode and I could be getting all the current I wanted more than enough to do anything, at least inside these tiny little integrated circuits. So let's try it again. Yeah, there you go. I just moved my hand down in front of it. And actually, it's, it's shooting at 180 degrees, I believe is what the spec is on it. So all I have to do is really get above it. And it's pointed, as you can see, it's pointed down, or at least parallel to the table. And it's off. And these PRRs are continuous latching, I think is what they call it. So if, as long as it's seeing movement, it's actually not seeing movement, it's seeing changes in heat. It can't actually can't see movement. But it's taking pictures of, of its a heat signature and when that changes, it triggers the, the relay. But it won't shut off. I think it's set on five seconds, so 
it's continuous as long as it sees the change in the heat signature and if I let it go there you have it um, that's it for that and the next video will be the dual op amp in the same circuit